All right, guys, welcome to episode 113 of Dope Talk TV. Is your truly low key. Got John here with me. Got the dogs put up. You already know how to fuck with rocking, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. Yep. Go down in the description, get yourself some merch. If you haven't done so already, we got dog hoodies, we got women clothes, we got male shit, whatever the fuck you need, all right? Whatever you we need, got we got it. it. We, we got, got it. it. We so got just it. go down there, click the link, and uh, yeah, man, get yourselves on. Or if not, you know what I'm saying? All you got to do is like, like, leave a comment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's it. That's, That's it, it, bro. Show you some love, I mean? bro. We love y'all. Yeah, we love y'all, man. For real. That is, for man. Real. We do this shit every fucking week. Facts. Facts. Just for y'all. No excuses, man. We we get it out here. We, we fucking dropping we Tuesdays weather, and Thursdays. We weather right? the storms, too. We weather the storms. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, for real. But listen, man. Light your J. Light your blunt. Pack your bomb. Pack your bowl. Week, uh, week, week, weekend's almost here, man. The week's almost over. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fucking that. I almost <laughs> fucking dog. had a stroke. My but listen, dog. the weekend. I'm so excited, bro. I'm so excited. God, every I, time, I, bro. I, bro, listen. Sometimes you know I, just, I just get. I live with Toby too long. I don't know. <laughs> You know, we have a friend that, that stutters, but, you know, that's just what it is. Like, when no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. But when he sings a song, it's normal. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so weird, weird, bro. Like, it's he so can weird. Say, he can sing he like can Luke sing. Combs, bitch, and be <laughs> speaking perfect English. As soon as he fucking tries to talk, yeah. that's bitch is fucking stumble, mumble, and fumble, bitch. Nah, for <laughs> real, bro. Nah, but shout out to you, bro. Yeah, I love you, Toby. Yeah, we, I, I didn't want to say your name, but. No, bro, round of applause to Toby, yeah, bro. Yeah, for real. This motherfucker. Everybody knows Toby. I didn't want to fucking give him a shout out. <laughs> <laughs> Just shout out to you know who you what are. What a dick. Yeah. You're a piece of shit. But now, nah, listen, guys. It's crazy, man. We're going into our second year. Round of applause to us, man. Second year. Fucking company is exactly two years old, July 29th yep. of 2021. So, uh, yeah, guys, we just want to let you know. That don't think that investing is a one-time thing into a company. Yeah, no. You know what I'm saying? We made a a pretty good big investment. And yep. we've been investing little by little over time. And guess what, guys? It's round number two of big investment time. Yo, round number two. Round number two, bro. We <laughs> gotta get another computer. We gotta get another camera. Like it's just it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, should, that alone right there is we gotta get literally another mic. three grand. We gotta get you know another mic just for the guests. Yeah, we gotta get know? mics, we gotta get like you it's know? different. We gotta get we still have to fill out the wall art and fucking lighting and this and that. Like so don't think, you know, for those of y'all that are looking to get into this, bro, it's a big commitment. It might just look like we come here and we talk shit and we smoke and we have fun, which we do. Yeah, yeah. that's what we do. This is what, yeah. But behind the scenes, bro, it's a lot of equipment in here. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of investment. It's a lot of sacrifice. And ultimately, man, like, just know that, man. It, it, you got to be really committed and, to the shit and be like, yo, it, I got to invest over time yeah. and it's going to take time. Yeah, and it starts It starts off like, you know, we didn't, we didn't jump into it with the expensive equipment right off. Yeah, we, we we literally spent a couple baby steps. Yeah, yeah, it was baby steps. You start off with if y'all go back and look at our first video, we didn't even have a tripod, my nigga. Yeah, like, we were holding the camera. We literally on, had Kevin. Kevin walking around <laughs> holding the fucking camera in our face. Lighting was <laughs> shitty. It was a fucking lamp right in front of us. Like it was just so it was know, bad, bro. And Pedro right there, just like, <laughs> and then we had Remy just fucking laying there being lazy. Like we just got Remy. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, you just bought fucking Remy, bro. That's when he became dope talk Remy. Yeah, like, yo, he's here. He's dope talk, bro. Yeah, like, dope talk it. Remy. Yeah, but it's like, <sighs> fuck, man. It's just it. It's disheartening, bro. When you feel like you got to a point where you're like, all right, we could relax a little bit for a little while. And then you realize you're like, no, bro, this is actually when you need to go harder. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like right now I was telling John right now we're at the two year mark. We fucking build the right team within this next year by the five year mark. We're out of here guys. And y'all are going to see it happen. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, this like, is, it, yeah. it's, this is going to happen. It, it like, starts, it starts with a group of people, bro. Like-minded, you know, you find your tribe, bro. Facts. When you find your tribe, your tribe is the people that, that have the same vision and, and they want to step together with you and help each other out. And guess what? Y'all, it's those type of people that really, really change your life. That's a fact. In, a, in a positive, in a positive way. Just, yeah. you know, like, and they and influence men- you. And mentally, too. Like, you know, like, it gives you more confidence because it's like, man, this guy said, you know, I could do it. It's just, I don't know, man. It's just when you have a group of people, bro, it really helps you out, bro. Yeah, no, it's a thing. It's yeah. a thinking tank, man. Yeah. Like, you know, not, no one person can do everything themselves, bro. I yeah. don't give a fuck who you are. The greatest... 
the greatest artists in the world, bro, that have full teams. If you look at Kanye West and all his songs on all his albums, like overall, he gets the credit. But nigga, it'll literally be like 15 people on one song that get credit for it. Yeah. Because guess what, bro? Those 15 brains working together, bro, are way more powerful than your one little puny fucking brain trying to figure it out on your own. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you got to build a team, man. You got to build a team and you got to be willing to sacrifice and make investments. You know what I mean? Yep. But yeah, man. Shout out my boy, Harry, bro. Round of applause to you. Yeah, I know man. that you watch and shit like that, man. Yo. Yeah, we're about to get in contact with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, like on everything. I know, bro. He shows love, and that's why, bro. We want you to come fucking work with us, man. We're gonna talk to you about it and shit like that. You know what I mean? And uh, we we want you to come become part of the team, bro. Because you you know what I mean? You show support. You've been showing support, bro. Yeah, and we want to show that love and support right back. Yeah, bro. For sure. Listen, man. Nights out, guys. Nights out. I remember being a fucking youngster, right? Some of the best nights out that I've ever had, bro. Hey guys, this is a, this is this ain't a PG thirteen show, all right? It's eighteen and over. So if you're not eighteen, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, all yeah, right? yeah. Get but out I remember of here. being going out one night, bro. Rest in peace, my boy Johnny, bro. This nigga pulled like a whole group of hoes. <laughs> there, there was what like one guy, bro, and it was like fucking five girls, and it was like a few of us. So we just linked, bro. We ended up fucking. Like, doing Molly with these bitches, getting in a fucking canoe. <laughs> like, we were going, bro. We didn't give a fuck. Guy in a canoe rolled our ass to a fucking island, bro, with these bitches and shit. It was like a tent out there set up. Like, they had this shit set up to, like, get ran through already. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it was one of those nights. But it's like, I think about that shit now, and I'm like, damn, bro. Like, we didn't know these. Like, it was just a, such a random, wild fucking night out. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, bro, like... Nights out, bro, like, they can be dangerous. You got to be careful what you do, where you go, how you do things. But, you like, you say it all the time, bro. You got to live your life, bro. You got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to get out there and network and do certain things and, like, learn what's for you and what's not for you. Yeah. You know? And after a couple of those nights, I realized, oh, this shit just ain't for me no more. You know what I'm saying? It's fun, but it's, like... That's why you get to a certain level. You yeah, know what I'm it's, saying? Yeah, but, it's and the, nights it's out the, yeah. change, bro. Like, yeah, the nights it, out change. You hang out with different people, and you do different stuff, you exactly. know? Like, when it's different levels of, like, fun as when you when you start adulting. Yeah, fact. Like, I noticed that, like, me yesterday, I went out thrifting, bro. I went to the thrift store and shit. Got some Run shit for... applause yeah. of a doll, man. I was like, yo, bro, that's just dope. You know? They had, like, a whole bunch of different shit. I was like, yo, this is fresh. You know what I mean? I'm gonna grab... Bro, to be honest, I grabbed this shit at the thrift store. Bro, people I ain't even trying to flex. Sleep. People hey. sleep on yeah. the thrift stores, man. Shout out to Elia, bro. That, my yeah. sister, that's, like, literally... Like I told you, that's where her business is. Yeah. She goes she goes out to thrift stores, finds dope shit like that. If it has smudge, whatever, she'll clean it up, and then she'll resell it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Because these things are worth money, bro. Like... She'll go buy some shit for a couple dollars, but it's really worth a hundred or two hundred, you yeah. know. And then you both win because you're getting some shit that's authentic, real fucking authentic shit that's worth two hundred dollars for maybe seventy bucks. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Even so, she in. makes her money. You fucking winning. You didn't have to spend six hours finding it. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like ultimately, bro. Like people sleep on thrift stores. Even bro. even gar- even garage stores. selling. You know yeah, what I mean? Gary Vee even said that he was just like, yo, like people complain about money and all this shit, but. People, they don't even look Go like they don't, a garage sale. it's not even that it's like the, the, he has money there's money in your house that you could fucking sell there's items in your house that you could sell like my yeah. mom literally went up to to this uh garage sellings uh to this garage sale down the street she went to go fucking pick it up uh, a fucking painting that this guy was like hey you know you could just have this she looked up the painting when she got home it was a 300 dollars painting that, she, that he was just like, that's you know what, what? I like, mean, I'm going to just give to you. And that's exactly what I was just saying like people will drive by and not even stop yeah. when it's like nigga yeah. like you could go spend one hundred twenty dollars for a brand new microwave, or just get this microwave for twenty bucks, bro. Clean it up a little bit and just fucking use it, because there's nothing wrong with it. You see what I'm saying? It's just perspective, bro. It's just perspective. But everybody's different, you know what I'm saying? There's yeah. people they're like, nah, nah, I need my shit brand new. Like I don't give a fuck what it is. Like, yeah, I, I, mean, I, I, I get it. I, mean, I get I, it. I get it. Yeah, but I not got- really, because it's like there's dope ass shit out there, bro. That's like. Barely, yeah, bar- like, barely used, or even if it is used, who the fuck cares? Who knows? Yeah, somebody could have worn that jersey for three years straight, <laughs> nigga, at their school in high school because that's all they had. 
Do you know that? Does anybody else know that? No, nigga. It's just a fucking jersey, right? No, for real. <laughs> but no. it's just like, who gives a fuck? Like, yeah. it doesn't matter who's had it, who wore it, whatever. If it's dope, it's dope. You know what I'm saying? Straight but yeah, the there's ways to make it money. Yeah, there is ways like, to make it money. Literally, like, I could I could have sold this for like $30, $40 on eBay or some shit like that. I'm pretty sure you look it up, it's worth more than that. But yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you like, catch, you, like, people just don't get it. Like, it's just the mindset, bro. It's a mindset. There's a hundred different ways of hustling out here, bro. You don't always have to do the same cliche things, man. Yeah. Like, there's people that resell shoes. They they go do that. They resell clothes. They fucking make their own shit and sell that. They have 3D printers, and they print shit and sell that. Like, there's a lot of different ways that you can make money out here, bro. This is literally the entrepreneur fucking time. Like, yep. this is their time. This is our time. If you're not fucking working right now... I don't know what to tell you, man. You're going to miss out in the next 5, 10, 15. Shit, man. They're talking about shutting down again. So, you know, there's another, literally another round of, hey, let me just think of something. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? To, to get that, to get bro. something, you know, and it's just like, yo, like, I hope it doesn't happen. But, it's, like, come on. like It's crazy where the world is at now. A lot bro. of entrepreneurs came out of the blue because of this, this, this epidemic. It forced you. It forced you. You know what I'm saying? Like, some people didn't have a choice. Like, they got let go of their job, and it's like, nigga, I either go figure it out or I'm going to be homeless. There's other people that fucking saw that it's like, bro, there's no point in working for somebody else. I'd rather just work for myself. Like, I could actually do it. Showed people they could do it themselves. But it's like, it's crazy where the world is at now, bro. Like, I remember back in high school, the dreams that you have, you know what I'm saying? Like, the dreams I had in high school where I'm like, oh, by 25, I'm going to be doing this, doing that, doing the other thing. And it's like, the world will change, and you have absolutely no fucking control over it. Like, who would have thought 10 years ago that there would be a world epidemic, pandemic, whatever it's called, and niggas is shutting shit down and everybody's wearing them? Like, you, nigga, what? That's like a movie. That would have been a movie back then. Like, yeah. It's like, that's not real. Nigga. Is it it's pandemic like, or is it epidemic? I don't know what the fuck it's called, bro. I don't I don't know the definitions specifically of those two words. Yeah. <laughs> but they saying it's a pandemic or other people. I don't know. Whatever the fuck you call it, bro, it's, it's a shitty situation. Yeah. They're talking about shutting down again, bro. I've uh, listen. I'm with DeSantis. Round of applause to DeSantis. Woo! This motherfucker said, "Hey, no, we're not shutting down. No, you're not making kids do wear masks. M- wear masks. It's up to the parents. We're gonna leave it up to the parents." Yeah. Hey, and I agree with that. Me too. Parents, if you're so scared, don't send your fucking kids to school. What happened to my body, my choice? And what happened to like the vaccine that you guys fucking took? Why are you still so scared? Yeah, I don't fucking get it. It's yeah, like it's, it's weird like, to nigga, me. Like, there's a lot of people that we know that have it too, but it's just they're telling us it's just like flu sti- flu type of uh, uh, symptoms, and it's nothing that serious. You know what I mean? Which I mean, I don't know, bro. I haven't heard of the flu in a while, in a long, long time, bro. I haven't heard of the Every, flu in a long time. Everything is COVID now. Everything is COVID now. And it's just like, come on, man. Like, wow, now the flu's gone, like completely gone. Like, no one can't. You can't get the flu anymore. I just want to see in 20, 30, 40 years, nigga, what this was really all about. Yeah, if God, you know, if God blesses me to be here that long, bro, yeah. I, re- I want to eventually see like what the fuck was it really about? Because this makes no fucking sense. It just absolutely makes no sense, bro. Yeah, it's like, come on, bro. It makes no fucking sense. But listen, man, round of applause, real quick. We want to go ahead and start with that right there, Pablo. <laughs> Yo, everybody wanted to be like Pablo, Pablo, Pablo Escobar, bro. Yeah, listen, bro. man, that. But look, bro, that nigga was different. Like, you got to think about it. Like, and not to, not to idolize, you know, drug dealing or nothing like that. But the thing that I respect the most about Pablo, bro, is his his business mind. Like this nigga was literally a business genius. Like he was, it was just all business tactics that he used. And he literally took over the world. He was the world's biggest cocaine distributor. Like he sold to China. He sold to countries. (laughs) Like niggas, niggas flex because they got a couple customers. It's like, nigga. He sold to the whole country. Nah, for real. To the whole world almost, pretty much, right? Like, Bro, God, crazy. man. That's crazy, right? It's crazy. Hey, the man was, was like, making $60 million a day. Profit. Burning a million dollars just to make his family fucking warm. I'll burn it to fucking... Yeah, me too. I, just, I mean, a million nigga, a nothing. million. I just made 60 today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to make 60 tomorrow and then 60 the next day. Yeah. So, get the fuck... I'll burn a million. Imagine fuck how much money there was in just rubber bands. 
Yeah, I think he spent like twenty thousand a month or some stupid <laughs> on shit bands. on rubber bands. <laughs> like, oh my god, do you <laughs> bro, know how stupid that is? What are you bro? gonna do with all this fucking money? Buy bro. fucking hippos and shit. Like yeah. that's literally what he did. He was just like, hey, I'm bored. Bring some hippos from Africa. That's why there's hippos in fucking yeah, Colombia now. Yeah, like they're not from there. Yeah, it's weird. And they be killing people in the rivers and shit. <laughs> <laughs> like damn, bitch. <laughs> fucking Pablo, fucking bro. Pablo, bro. Yo, he changed a lot of shit, bro. bro he changed the whole fucking like. Animal kingdom out there Like he brought birds He brought A bunch of shit That's not from there That's now there Just like Fucking reproducing And living there that's And it's fucking, just like Damn bro Like one man Could fucking change The world I know Like, li- like You gotta think about it Cause From all the drugs He produced Like how many people died How many people got killed over it How much money was made from it Like he wasn't the only one Eating He wasn't the only million You know Person making He was the top dog But who else was making you know, bread out there that nobody knows about Facts. that their whole family set for generations now because you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, like people look at the bad side, but it's like, bro, I'm, that's why he was protected where he was from. Yeah. Because that nigga literally built a city and told niggas here. Yo, in Medellin, bro. Have he, it. Yeah, he pretty much, that's why everybody protected him, bro. You remember when what, fucking Wiz Khalifa went over there and smoked a joint at his grave? And, and people were like, yo, that's that, that's just disrespectful, it bro. It is disrespectful. Like, and, yeah, you know what I mean? It's it like, doesn't matter if Pablo smoked, because Pablo smoked weed. Yeah. Like, you don't go do that. It's like going and fucking, like, I, you just don't go do that. Yeah, you don't. If that's not your boy, yeah. like, that's not your boy, nigga. Yeah, that's not your if boy. If it was your boy, like, if you know your boy is like, yo, my boy would love this right now. Yeah. I'm spark love for him. Like, that's different. Yeah. Nigga, you don't know Pablo. <laughs> Pablo was probably like, yo, get this nigga out of here, bro. Who is this fucking guy, bro? <laughs> Who is for this real, guy? Bro. Like, get like, this get guy. This here. guy must be out of his damn mind. For real. <laughs> for real. Nah, but imagine feeding a whole fucking family. Like, families in the whole city, bro. Like, people, just like how you said, bro. Hey, listen, like, bro, that's, people ate. People got homes. People yeah, were put because on. because of him. People were put on. It wasn't, it was a lot of bad. A lot of bad. <laughs> but ultimately, bro, I'm pretty sure, bro, if you, if you really dissect it, there's some good in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, that's good. There, it's a balance, bro. It's like anything else. You yeah. can't have the bad without the fucking good. Yeah, you know there you go. Saying? That was deep. The yeah, oil and water. Just, hey, yin and yang, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that shit goes. But listen, you know how that shit goes. Crazy bitches, guys. Look, man. Look, bro. I'm not going to lie. I've come into contact with a couple crazy bitches in my day, bro. Like, there's different levels of crazy, though. You know what I'm saying? There's girls that are a little ditzy. You know, they're, they're like just out there. They're kind of, they're, they're crazy, but they're not like, they're not. Crazy. I had a girl tell me she did, she was gonna beat me up if I didn't eat her pussy. Now I had a girl straight start swinging on me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, and I was just like in high school, like it was it was some kid shit, but it was still like, damn, you're a crazy bitch. Yeah, like you just like that set you off to the point where you just start swinging on a nigga. Like if I really wanted to, I'll dump you on your fucking neck right now. That ass. But I'm gonna let you live. <laughs> nah, you for live. real, because these girls. Yeah, I mean, again, it's just going down to like you know women trying to be masculine. Yeah, it's just not not being raised right. Like, yeah. bro, don't put your hands on anybody, whether it's a woman or a man. Because yeah, it's like, if they hit you back, you can't fucking be upset about it. Yeah. But I'm not even talking about that. Like, just, bro, ladies, listen. I love y'all. I really do. I love you forever. But y'all are some crazy motherfuckers. Yeah. Y'all don't know. Listen, you don't know what you want. Ever. You cut your hair, you want it back. You fucking get a car, you want to change it. You want to fucking, <laughs> you buy a fucking motorcycle, you fucking sell it next week. You want pizza, <laughs> you want spaghetti, huh? What the fuck you want? You want spaghetti, you want fucking hey, pizza. Mama mia. What the fuck is going on, man? Uh, nah. you, want, you fucking want red sauce, then you want Alfredo. What the fuck? What, what's going on with y'all, man? Like, you hungry, then you're not. And then you tell me then you're, you're okay. Not, then you are. You know what I'm saying? You want your yeah. own fries? No. Then you're eating half of mine. Yo, listen, look. Look, yeah. what are we doing? Nah, yeah. Women, nah. listen. I, nah, that ass. I feel like, I don't know, for whatever reason, uh, women are more undecisive. Like, they, like it's weird, bro. They don't, like, they're, they don't know how to make decisions a lot of the times. Like, and not to shit all y'all, you know what I'm saying? But I was raised by women. And women are undecisive, bro. Like, yeah, with certain things, yeah, in their life, hard, yeah. It's hard for them to decide with a lot of things. They, I mean, they're they're gonna they're gonna watch them the get fucking gonna, dressed. I mean, they have a mental breakdown. Holy gonna, shit! Like they fucking come out. I look fucking fat. Fucking run back man. in the room. Fucking change again. It's just like, oh my god, damn. Like, oh my god, <laughs> yo, that shit died again. Yo, you know what else died? <laughs> my fucking Xbox, bro. <laughs> Yeah, so my Xbox broke, guys, and 
I'm just going to figure it out. I'm going to see what happens. You know what's crazy is that I went to the car wash the other day too, right? And I went to go get my car washed. And the guy's like, hey, man, um, the car wash got um, hit by lightning. So we're going to just, all right. I'm like, all right, cool. He's like, you can come back later. I was like, all right, that's fine. That's cool. I fucking left. Fucking come back home. My Xbox, like literally like 12 hours after that. You know what I mean? I didn't play it. But 12 hours after that, after I got home, you know, I went to go turn it on. And this bitch ain't fucking working. I think it got electrocuted. Hey, listen. So bro, I don't know. I think. Shit just dies, bro. It's a Thor. The Thor is probably fucking <laughs> shooting his fucking. I don't know. Fucking Thor, bro. It's fucking Thor. lightning or some shit. I don't know. Nah, that's, a, that's unfortunate, man. Yeah. That's unfortunate. I had a situation with the PlayStation not too long ago, <laughs> and that shit was ass, and that's where I'm going to leave that, so I feel for you. Yeah. But fucking red flags, man. It's crazy, bro. Like, people ignore red flags with everything. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you'll ignore red flags at work, or it's like, this company might not be doing that fucking good. <laughs> But I'm going to know it. I'm going to just keep getting my check until they fucking shut down or some shit. Damn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, there's, I'm telling you, there's red flags in everything. And it's just like, I feel like humans, like, we all have this defect, right? Where, like, we have selective, like, we pick and choose. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, like, bro, you can't ignore certain red flags and then see other ones. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like. Don't ignore a red flag, bro. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because that shit, it could cost a lot. It could cost you years of your life. It could cost you prison time. It if, could cost you if, fucking if, relationships. If, 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 you're, you know if your like, body and your mind is telling you, yo, bro, like, this is not the job for you, just quit the job. Yeah, There's always going to be another else. job. There's always going to be another job. Always. No matter what. No matter fucking what, bro. I promise you. You know what I mean? So... If you're just listen to your body, bro. Yeah, bro. Don't ignore red flags, man. With yeah. anything, bro. If you yeah. feel something, if you if you feel something where it's like, yo, I want to start doing this. I feel like this could work for me. Whatever it is, working out, fucking reading, fucking eating better, fucking whatever the fuck it is, do it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. just like you just said, bro. Like, listen to your body, bro. Your body will literally fucking tell you. You know what I'm saying? What what is good for itself? It's not normal you know to be stressed. Unless you're like the fucking owner of the fucking company. Dead ass. Even then, bro, you should learn how to deal with it. Yeah. You yep. know what I'm saying? Like it everybody deals with different levels of stress, bro. Yep. It all comes down to how you deal with it. Yep. You know what I mean? Like everybody has stress in their own ways and and then everybody copes in their own ways. Like people eat, they stress yeah, eat. People facts. fucking just punch shit. Yeah. Some facts. people fucking I used to do that. You know I, what I mean? I've fucked up fucking doors, all types of shit, bro. Yeah, you know I know. I've seen like, you do it. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've but done it a just, couple times. I punched the hole, but I had to patch it up. But it's listen, all good. that shit just ha it happens, bro. It, it fucking happens. happens. But you learn, bro. And then you learn. You're like, bro, that's literally a dumbass way to react. Because now I still have to deal with the problem I'm mad about. Plus, I got to fix this door. Yeah. <coughs> so it's fucking stupid. It's fucking stupid. Yeah. But listen, guys. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. Go down in the description. Get yourself some motherfucking merch if you haven't done so already. Facts, facts. You know get that saying? shit, man. What we doing, bro? You know what I mean? I'm about to start rocking some shit too, man, because hoodie season's coming up in a couple hey, months. Facts. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're going to drip up. We're we going to get some up. sweats. You feel me? Facts. That's how we rocking. So. That's how we rocking. So go down there and get yourself something. But listen, like the video, share, subscribe, guys. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love.